What is good, YouTube? Get in those crypto gains. Boom, boom, boom. Get in those crypto gains today, guys. Because why? I'm buying cryptocurrency in the bear market. That's exactly why I'm getting those crypto gains, because I'm not a pussy. Anyway, guys, so Polygon. We're going to talk about Polygon Matic today, our friend Polygon. And why do we like Polygon? Well, we know Ethereum is setting up for some big, big protocol updates at the moment, including the triple halving event. And what does this mean? Well, it means that basically it's going to reduce the issuance of Ethereum. And why is it called the triple halving event? Because effectively it's got the same amount of impact as a Bitcoin halving event three times. So the way I see it, guys, is when Ethereum moves, Matic likes to move with it as its, uh, you know, s scalability solution. So we can even just look at some of the charts and how similar Ethereum and Matic are. But the way I see it, it's like they've got a relationship like Batman and Robin, you know, so really, really cool. Uh, we're trading at $0.66 at the moment with a market cap of $5.2 billion. Big volume come in around uh, 0.11 uh, volume to market cap ratio. So we're getting a bit of money flow in. People are scooping up. And um, with all this rush, I think, you know, we can start looking at some targets as well for Matic as well. So we rank 17, looks really, really nice. And I'm still ever so bullish on this. I remember when this launched, like, I think it was just before 2020, before the major, major bull run. And you were able to buy this at such a low cost if you did. And we're talking like one or two cents. You know, this is how low price it was. And the investment opportunity was huge. So we're once again comparing now with then. Is this still a good time to effectively accumulate? Well, let's have a little look. So what I'm seeing from Matic at the moment is we've come back down to some real, real lows. Um, same as April 2021. Not quite back before uh, you know in 2020 not not the pre 2021 prices but we are coming down to very low prices looking at 65 cents at the moment now we had a big big capitulation wick on the 20th of july 2021 and ever since we saw that happen we did get a nice price pump to the upside of a whopping 359 percent looking at the 20 day moving average we're pretty underextended we have been for a while but it looks like we've just got back through it which could also effectively tell us we might be at the beginning of a new temporary or short-term uptrend bull market support band we're very underextended so his historically when you buy below the bull market support band as well it does offer a good area for accumulation now why am i also bullish because when we look at the fibonacci retracement on the macro scale for this project we're sitting directly on the point seven eight six fibonacci right there guys it is literally black and white it's that clear to see Typically, this is a good area to reaccumulate post bull market, and it does show a strong, strong area of accumulation. If you were to lose a 0.5 level of support, though, you know, on the bearish scenario, we could easily fall back down to lower price levels. And the first kind of support levels I'd be looking for is around this particular level here, the 0.47, and more significantly, the major, major, major support level, 0.29. So I still think this is a great area to potentially reaccumulate more Polygon Matic. And um, in my opinion, I'm going to go for it because I think we can at least see a pump to the upside at some time soon. Because if we look at the previous local high over here at around $1.75, we can see if we break out from this particular descending channel, we will be facing up towards at least $1.25. 27 maybe even one dollars 48 so matic is on the way to one dollars guys i think it's going to happen soon i'm not entirely sure when nobody truly knows but more of a three to six month target you know we'll be looking at some of those upper price levels looking at 143 depending on when it happens the last time we were basically capitulated we can see that we were stuck around here for a few days if we have a look at the swing low to swing high it took us 36 days if it did take us another 36 days uh we'd be looking at around july 2022 to reach the one dollar price target looking on the four hour time frame what is currently happening is that we are trading in a bit of a descending channel as we can see i'm just going to move this we're putting through those lower highs as well as some lower lows as well i do expect that we're going to break out to the upside at some point soon again i'm not I don't have a crystal ball. It's just the factors are looking quite bullish at the moment in the sense that we are very undervalued and we are setting ourselves up for big price movement. So if we do break out of this descending channel, 
you know, technical target is going to be around the width of this uh, channel right here. So it will take us up to about 0 0.8 cents for Polygon Matic. Looking at the RSI at the moment, however, we are a little bit overheated. So we could just wait for a little bit of a cool down, a little bit of a pullback. See maybe if we are going to come back down to a lower support level at 0 0.54 dollars, where it could effectively prove to be a nice reaccumulation range. So short term targets right now for Polygon Matic is that we got to break out of this particular pattern. We could break up to the um the 0 0.84 target that we just looked out but we could also you know lose the support level and if we lost this support we'd be traversing back down to about 0 0.47 dollars although i think that is more unlikely on this particular case so i am feeling very very bullish now the target for the next few weeks or months i am looking at this diagonal resistance right here because we can see we had lots of resistance and consolidation here so we can get another spring to the upside if we look at the daily time frame to kind of further highlight what's going on you can see that every time we're down at the bottom of this particular channel as well for example right over here over here over here um also over here and more so over here now, each time we are there, it does indicate an oversold position on the RSI or a much lower RSI. And now we're getting that low RSI, just like before. When we're at the top here of this range and this range, the RSI is already kind of picking up a little bit. So I am looking out for a pump on the RSI as well. Whilst we are trading at these lower levels, I think it's going to effectively happen. Again, it's just a matter of waiting, seeing what can happen in the market, see what Bitcoin decides to do. And if we do break out of this particular consolidation you know, pattern, it's going to be very, very aggressive. Think of what Cardano just recently did. Uh, we know that it's got the Vassal hard fork update coming out recently. So when the triple merging does happen for Ethereum, we're going to see matic absolutely go wild and we're talking back to the one dollar price level so we've had a look at the short-term targets of 0 0.84 cents we've had a look at the three to six month target looking at but getting back to above the dollar maybe retesting this diagonal resistance what about the targets for the next five years time well if we use the swing high take the swing low we can see that effectively the fibonacci extension tells us a pragmatic target and usually we do like to look at the 1618 so in this occasion we're going to look between the 1.2 and the 1618 and i'd like to see polygon matic come up between at least 3.62 and 4.47 dollars in the future now if we want to be hyper bullish moon boys it's never wrong nothing wrong with that you know the crazy things happen in crypto we can even look at $10 price targets from that particular Fibonacci um, extension. And why can we do that? Because if we look at what happened here on this swing high to swing low, we came way above the 4.236 over there. If we look at this particular swing high to swing low, we came all the way up to just between the 1 and the 1.272. Of course, that was during a flat peak, a flat level correction in the market as well. So really, really interesting to see what could potentially happen for Matic. I'm extremely bullish for this project in the long run. And if we do look at Matic, I mean, just take a look at this chart, for instance, guys. Um, how similar does it look to Ethereum? So, so similar. You see that? Get that same consolidation here. And what's also crazy is Ethereum had many, many touchdowns at the $1,700 level. Touchdown here, touchdown here, touchdown here, touchdown here, touchdown here. So I'm expecting rejection on this symmetrical triangle. If we come back down to the $1,700 level, perhaps we're going to break that support level just because the more times you retest a support or resistance, the more likely you are to break through or below. But it does look like Ethereum wants to get back above that $2,000 level. Guys, if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing, becoming a patron. It's a price for coffee. You'll get yourself some nice trading signals as well as one-on-one -on -one messages opportunities for coaching and tutorials too make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here guys i'm going to stick within the bear market so you can basically help you know be handheld through the markets we can look at opportunities together make some money turn on the notification bell to be part of the notification nation make sure you also get yourself down in the description below navigate towards those telegram channels if you want to be part of the most comprehensive insightful and also most educational trading telegram so see you in there and bye for now